In this episode, you will learn how to monitor multiple node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi modules using only one Blink application. This project can be really helpful in situations where you need to monitor multiple sensors installed at different locations. Let's say you want to make a security system and you want to monitor living room, storeroom, bedroom, and so on. In a situation like this, you can install Node MCU modules at different locations and monitor all the sensors using only one application. The distance between the Node MCU modules really doesn't matter. So far, the Wi Fi connection is available. Even if the Node MCU modules are installed in different countries, like for example Pakistan, India, USA, Canada, and so on, we can monitor all the Node MCU modules using only one Blink application. In this episode, I'm going to combine two projects. Number one, IoT based car parking slots monitoring system and number two a project which was designed for monitoring the analog sensor I have already explained these projects in very detail the project links are given in the description so in this episode I'm only going to explain the changes in the node MCU programming and will also explain how to modify the application which was designed for the car parking monitoring system the components used in this project are already explained in my previous tutorials and their purchase links are given in the description. Without any further delay, let's get started. This is the program of the car parking slots monitoring system and let's call this node MCU1 programming. Well, this is the program of the analog sensor monitoring and let's call this node MCU2. We are not going to make any changes in the node MCU1 programming. We will only copy the authentication token and paste it in the node MCU2 programming. And another change I made in the sensor value function where I changed the virtual pin to V20. Make sure you select a virtual pin which is not used in the Node MCU1 programming, otherwise, the Blink application will be confused. So, these are the only two changes which I made in the Node MCU2 programming, and I didn't even change a single instruction in the Node MCU1 programming. Let me tell you once again, use same authentication token for all the node MCU modules as we will be using only one application to monitor all the node MCU modules. And second important point is use different virtual pins. For example, if you have used virtual pin 30 in node MCU1, never use the same virtual pin 30 in node MCU2 on node MCU3 if you are using three node MCU modules. I have already uploaded these programs. Now let's modify the Blink application which was created for node MCU1 for monitoring the car parking slots. First of all, open the Blink application. This is the application which I created for the car parking slots monitoring in which I used two tapes, parking one and parking two and each tab has three slots. If you don't know how to make a Blink application, how to use the tabs and LEDs, and how to generate the authentication token, then you should watch my tutorial on the IoT car parking slots monitoring system. I will provide a link in the description. Now let's modify this application and add another tab with the name variable resistor. Click on the screen and this time add gauge.
Click on the gauge and set name is a V resistor. Click on pin and select virtual and then select V20. And make sure this value is set to 1023. Change the font size and then click on the push and select one second. Our application is ready. As you can see, we have two Node MCU modules. This is Node MCU 2 and this is Node MCU 1. Node MCU 1 is used to send the parking slot information to the Blink application, while the Node MCU 2 module is used to send the variable resistor value to the Blink application, which will be then displayed on the gauge. Let's power up the Node MCU modules and Arduino. Support me on Patreon for more videos like this and get access to hundreds of projects. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.